Well, um, I'm nervous about this. I've never done this kind of stuff before. I've been cursed with my mom's uh, flappy lips, but all in all, my name's Darren Thompson. I've been with Seventh Day Adventist uh, movement, I guess. Um, I don't know how really to express myself without getting off the subject, so I wrote this down. It, speaking of, it covers a lot in the back of the bulletin today. If you read it, you can kind of pinpoint what I'm trying to cover on that. Uh, this, I, I'll just read this because I'm going to get off track right off of the bat, okay? The Sabbath, truth, my testament of it. 1 Samuel 12, 24, only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart, for consider how great things that he had done for you. God does many wonderful things for us every day. He only asks that in return we show love for him by, by keeping his word and his Sabbath. Speak out what God has done for you and let people know. Don't hold it to yourself. You feel good about it. Let the others know how it feels good to understand what he's done for you. Don't, don't think it's coincidental. Put it in perspective in your life. Let God. He's real. This is what happened. Yesterday, on this day, January 22nd, 2016, around 5 o'clock a.m. in the morning, I have just learned that one of the drivers at work had been fired, which was my best friend. I grew up with him. I knew him. It was sad. I'm a truck driver also at this company. As I was about to end my day of work around 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon, I had just been informed that another driver also had been fired. He was our mechanic too. Now I'm beginning to fear of working more hours that means possibly the Sabbath. So as I was driving, excuse me, as I was driving the last 45 minutes of my route heading to the office, I prayed to God that if I was asked to work on the Sabbath, that he would speak his words, not mine, because I, I would throw it out of proportion and probably get fired. That he would speak his words, not mine, through me, to explain to my boss about the Sabbath. When I got back to the office, my supervisor said the boss wanted to speak to me. Uh, okay, I thought, here it is. I, I'm going to get fired too. Or that I was going to be asked to work the Sabbath. He did ask about working more hours and ask if I had any issues about it. I, I told him, yes, just there is one, the Sabbath. Long story short, God did it. Words were spoken, the boss listened, and agreed that I would not be scheduled to work the Sabbath. Amen. All glory to God and a huge blessing to me. I just thought you should know of this New Testament of God in his mysterious ways. Humans really are blind. I know. I've been one of them for 40-some years. Now I see it. Amen. God bless.